And in a moving statement at a city council meeting, Mayor Earl Cabell of Dallas summed up the feelings of his community in the wake of the tragedy. It would be quite fitting to erect a visible monument, but today I want to speak to the people of Dallas about a greater memorial which we can construct not only to President Kennedy's memory, but to exemplify the fundamental principles of the nation which we love and which he was serving when he died. For it will not be sufficient for us to say that we are sorry. It is also required of us that we combine all of the talents of our city to renew the vital spirit of our people. We have often proudly said that we have a great city composed of good people with a depth of civic enterprise and accomplishment second to none. It has occurred to me these past few days that perhaps we have spoken too proudly of ourselves. If our deeds are deeds of true accomplishment, we will have so served our nation and our world that we will not need to call attention to our work. Today I wish to call upon the people of Dallas to combine and unify our resources, which indeed are many, not simply for the love that we have for Dallas, but in order that our city may become a useful example of service to all of the world, an example of faithful endeavor for the good of all. I call upon the churches and the synagogues for such devotion to our faith that they will speak to us with utmost candor, both of the ideals of truth and of the shortcomings of our community, so that we may be guided into the paths of right. I call upon our schools, and especially our colleges and universities, to continue their search for understanding with complete freedom, so that they may teach without fear or bias. I call upon men and women in business to renew their energies in fair and fruitful commerce so as to inspire us all to the highest standards of integrity in industry and ethical enterprise. I call upon labor to demonstrate to our community the benefits and usefulness of work well done. I call upon newspapers and radio and television broadcasters not only to report the news with careful evaluation of its worth, but to appraise it earnestly and interpret it wisely for the common good. I call upon the business and professional men and women of the city of Dallas to renew their dedications to the ideals of American life. I call upon the parents of every child in Dallas, now and in the years to come, to inculcate in their children a dedication to law and order and a respect for duly constituted authority. I call upon all the people to bring to bear every means of strengthening our normal fiber and to make ours a community of tolerance and understanding. It is typically American for us to disagree on nearly every issue. We must exercise freely our right to voice our individual opinions, to engage in partisan causes, to vote according to diverse views. But I call upon all of our citizens to enter into controversy without hatred, disagreement without disparagement. And I ask that we allow ourselves to be intolerant only with intolerance whenever we find it in our midst. I am convinced that the grievous events we have just endured can teach us the most profound lesson of all, that our best laid plans are not good enough without the benefit of a wisdom greater than our own. As we undertake to renew our spirit and develop greater usefulness, let us not be hesitant or ashamed to subject ourselves at every opportunity to the insights which can be gained only upon our knees and in the conscious presence of Almighty God. Thank you and God bless you.